Motors and controls are all around us. In fact, many times we don't even know they're there, but they truly are the workhorses of industry. So how about if we take a look at how motor control contactors and the electrical contacts in them function. This is a furnace industrial contactor in the Innova Plus series. Furnace is now owned by Siemens. This GP40 contactor has three poles. We'll remove the cover to expose the electrical contacts. A typical operation begins with pushing the green start button to energize the system. The electrical current goes to the coil. A coil is simply copper wire wrapped around a magnetic core. The outside covering around the wire and core can either be wound or encapsulated with a special plastic like the coil in this contactor. When the coil is energized, it magnetically pulls a metal plate downward. Movable contacts attached to the plate contact stationary contacts. Now the circuit is complete and starts one or more motors. So, a contact is an electrically controlled switch that completes or interrupts a circuit. A motor starter is a contactor with overload relays added to each circuit for overload protection. The contactor and overloads are often mounted in a metal enclosure or box like this. Some IEC contactors are mounted on rails. The system is IEC rated. IEC stands for International Electrical Code, associated with European and Asian designs. This code must be followed when running wire and making connections in various applications. Behind the scenes, motor control contactors, contacts, and motor starters keep industry moving. Repco has been supplying replacement contacts to industry for more than four decades. We're a leading source for replacement motor control contacts, coils, and contactor parts. Repco, sharing success with our customers.